Hey everybody, future Josh here. I just wanted to make a few amendments to my Saints Row 3 Trophy Platinum Roadmap Guide. There was a, a couple of errors in my guide which I wanted to fix and, and just kind of like iron out. And secondly, all the problems with the glitched trophies at the moment, I don't know when they're going to be fixed and I don't want people to keep experiencing glitch trophies so I wanted to incorporate it into this updated version of the guide. So I'm going to keep cutting into past Josh and, uh, and correcting him when he's wrong. So enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel Trophy Hunter. How's everybody doing today? Today I wanted to take a look at Saints Row 3 and put together a trophy roadmap for that game considering we've just had the release of Saints Row 3 Remastered and the trophy lists have just gone live to confirm exactly what's included. I wanted to do a video wrap up of exactly what you're going to need to do to get the Platinum Trophy in that game. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so as I said at the top, this is going to be a quick trophy roadmap video for Saints Row the Third, showing you exactly what you need to do to get the Platinum Trophy. Like all my roadmap videos, we're going to show you exactly what's required and how difficult it is, and we're going to try and keep things spoiler free. Well, spoiler free as much as we can. So before we get started on this one, I just want to call out there are some glitched trophies at the moment. Currently people are experiencing glitches across the board on all trophies in this game. There's been particular things that set that off. The first is your network settings being shut off. For some reason, if you get disconnected from the PSN and your internet connection is gone, it makes trophies unattainable for some people. The other is suspending the app, opening up other apps, opening up the trophy app on the PlayStation 4. If you do any of those things as well, then you have the potential of having your trophies glitched as well. What we've found fixes this so far is closing the game and then starting it back up again. Then you can earn trophies like normal. But if you have had a glitch and you've progressed past a point where you should have earned the trophy, you probably won't earn it unless you go back and replay that section of the game again. So my advice for now is uh, make sure you do a lot of saves and backup saves. Every time you progress to a certain point in the game, make sure you're saving. Create a new save file as well. And that way you can always dial back to that old save file do this frequently as well so that you don't progress like 10 hours through the game and you have to go back. That's my first recommendation. The second recommendation is just don't suspend the app, don't look at other apps, don't uh, don't open other apps while you're playing this game. Make sure you close the game completely and then open it back up again when you want to play it just for the time being. I, I know it's not an ideal situation but it does seem to fix the problem for us. So that's kind of my recommendation on that. Now this all could be fixed by now as well, but as of the 26th of May 2020, which is a week after the game came out, the glitches are still persisting and there hasn't been any information about them yet. So maybe you're watching this in a month's time or two months time and it has been fixed and that's great. But as of right now, there are glitches in the game that you should be aware of. So the trophy difficulty for this one is a three out of 10. It's the same as it was on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Fundamentally, the trophy list is exactly the same. Things haven't changed, except it is missing one trophy. It's going to take you around 35 hours to platinum the game, which is exactly on par with what it was on previous generation consoles. This version of the game has no online trophies because they've removed the only online trophy in the game. So there was a trophy in the PS3 and Xbox 360 version called Jumped In, and that trophy has been removed for this version of the game. Thankfully, because that trophy is actually unattainable on the PS3 version as well now, given that the servers have been shut off for that game, unfortunately. So it's good that that's been removed, and now we don't have to worry about that happening for the PS4 version. But that basically means that we're one trophy less, otherwise everything else is exactly the same. So there are two missable trophies in, well there's technically four missable trophies I suppose, depending on which choice you make. Uh, there are four trophies associated with making choices in the game. Choice A and choice B, basically. So the first choice is in the mission The Belgian Problem, and the second choice at the very end of the game in Three Way. So what you're going to want to do here is because there's no chapter select in Saints Row the Third, you're going to need to make an, a save file when you begin The Belgian Problem and when you begin Three Way. Then just play through them like normal. The first time around, you choose choice A or B, whichever one you want to do for both of those two missions and then you'll reload your save file and then choose the alternate choice for the Belgian problem and three-way and that way you'll unlock all four of the trophies thus nullifying essentially the four missable trophies in the game and preventing you from having to do an additional playthrough of the game as well. There's no difficulty trophies in this one so you can play through on the easiest difficulty if you want and breeze through the game and it's, it's very easy on the easiest difficulty as well. You really only do need one playthrough I guess you kind of count two because you do have to replay those sections of the game again. So it's like one in a bit. 
because you have to play the, the end of those couple of acts to unlock those alternate choice trophies. There's no chapter select in this game, unfortunately, but if you use the save game method that I mentioned earlier, then that will help you unlock all of the missable trophies so you won't need it. There are two stacks for this game, a European and an American release of the game. Uh, unlike the PS3 version of the game where there was a German release, this one, this time there's none of that. It's just European and American. So that's essentially your roadmap for the game, exactly what's required. It's not a very challenging one. This one should be a pretty straightforward platinum for most people. And if you've played it before, then you know exactly what's required this time around as well. So the, the three simple steps to platinum. And I, I've tried to lay these out in a way that I think makes sense. That's the easiest way or the easiest path to platinum but it might not be the same for everybody. This is just kind of my recommendation. So the first step is for completing the main story, making sure that you also work on side missions and city takeovers. Uh, that's gonna save you a ton of time later if you just keep making sure you're doing those side missions and city takeovers because you essentially have to do 100% of side missions and 100% of city takeovers to get the platinum. So just slowly chipping away at it, I think is worthwhile doing. The other thing you can do during this step is the collectibles because you also do need all the collectibles. Ultimately, you can choose to do those side things later in the game during cleanup, but doing it while you're playing the main game is probably just going to make it more enjoyable for you and less grindy at the end. Um, as I mentioned before, so there's two choices in the games, uh, in the game that have trophies attached to them. So step two is replaying those two particular missions. The missions are the Belgian problem and three-way. And essentially, at the end of those missions, you make a choice A or B and you'll get a trophy for A and then make a choice for B. So replay those missions to get those two trophies. And then finally, it's cleanup. Uh, step three is just completing all instances of side missions, challenges, and city takeovers, as well as finding all remaining collectibles using a collectible guide. If you've already done that in step one, then you've probably already got the platinum at this point. But that's essentially it for all the trophies. There are some miscellaneous trophies that you'll probably want to do cleanup for during that step as well. Kill base trophies, uh, specific trophies for how you get into a car, um, things like that. Pretty straightforward stuff, things that you'll probably accumulate from just playing the game anyway. And if you have a look through the trophy list while you're playing it, you'll be able to knock off some of those miscellaneous things, but none of them will be missable per se. I know that once you've finished all the city takeovers and missions and stuff like that, it is harder to find enemies to spawn in for the kill base trophies. So maybe have a look at those kill base trophies earlier on in your playthrough to ensure that you've, you've kind of figured out what you need to do for those first so that when it's when enemies are more scarce later in the game, you don't have to worry as much. So the only notable trophies worth mentioning are the four missable trophies. I, I, I don't know if it's four or two. Technically, you'll always get two of them on one playthrough and then two of them you'd have to do on a second playthrough or using the saved game method. Those are really the only four trophies that you need to watch out for because if you miss those for whatever reason, then you'll have to do an additional playthrough of the entire game again to get back to those points to make those choices to unlock those trophies. The other thing that's worth pointing out, and like I mentioned at the top, is that there are currently glitches with the game at the moment, meaning some trophies are becoming unattainable. That is across the board. It's not a specific trophy or trophies. It's all trophies becoming unattainable. The way that we've found to fix this, like I mentioned before again, is make sure you don't suspend the game. Make sure that you don't uh, quit to the, the PlayStation main menu. Make sure you don't open up any additional apps when you're playing the game. If you do any of those things, then you're going to have to close Saints Row the Third and then reboot it again from scratch. Otherwise, you do risk potentially trophies glitching and not unlocking correctly. Who knows when this is going to be fixed, but this is the case as of the 26th of May 2020. If you're watching this in like a year's time and it's been fixed, you can disregard this point. But for the time being, while this game is new and we still have these glitches, then I, I just wanted to make that clear to everyone so that people aren't playing the game and accidentally missing things. That's, that's essentially it. That's the platinum roadmap and walkthrough uh, for the game or Platinum Roadmap and Steps to Platinum for the game. Hopefully this one's helpful for you guys. Let me know if it was. Uh, let me know if you're gonna be playing Saints Row. I, I, I like these games. These games are really cool. Saints Row 3 was one of the better ones as well. I think it's probably better than Saints Row 4. It was more grounded and it was just a great game. But yeah, that, let me know if you guys are gonna be checking this one out and hopefully this guide was helpful for you. If it was, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also smash that subscribe button down below because it needs a good smashing. It hasn't been smashed in days. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.